How's it going YouTube? It's Cops360 and um, a lot of people with um, laptop, uh, well with a laptop or like an all-in-one all computer have, uh, what is it called, they have mobile parts, laptop parts, they have a laptop CPU, laptop graphics card, they have a laptop um, RAM, they have laptop everything and that's the case with me. So if you want to upgrade your graphics card, you want to make sure you have a laptop graphics card. Now the thing is, it is not as simple. It is not as simple of um as replacing a desktop graphics card. There's a lot of things you have to look at. So number one, what graphics card do I have? To do this, this is very, very simple. You can either type in DX DIAG um in your uh, in the um the search bar. Uh so as you can see I've got an NVIDIA GeForce GT 630M. Or you can use like GPU-Z or something. And then the second thing you're gonna have to do is type, um, is find out uh, what bus is it using, or for example, uh, just just listen for now. So what you want to do now is you want to type in, you want to download CPU Z, and just type in CPU Z on Google. I'm not gonna do a tutorial; it's pretty simple. Just download CPU Z and download GPU Z. Once you download CPU Z, it'll give you all this information. Then you want to go to main board, and as you can see, the graphic interface is a um, it's a PCI Express. So if you've got this PCI Express at X16, you're you're good. You're all you're all good. You have a a proper discrete graphics card. Um, as you can see, I have a GT 630M, and yeah. So pretty much that's what you have to do. And the next thing you want to do is you want to go to GPU Z, and you want to check. You just want to, you need to double check because this, trust me guys, there was so much error that can be made in this. You need to double check, triple check everything. So as you can see, the bus interface is PCI Express 2.0 at X16. Or times 16 at X16, whatever. But anyway, just keep that in mind. Make sure you've got your, make sure when you get um, GPU-Z, you look at your number and you just, you make sure you remember that. Now, now that you've got that down, now that you know you are aware of um what PCI A version it is, PCI version, and what graphics card it is, uh, AMD or Intel. Now, oh, it doesn't matter if you want to buy an AMD card or an Intel card, it doesn't matter. But anyway, now that you figured both things out, what you want to do is you want to head over to this website. This is called TechPowerUp.com. This website is amazing. Now, there's two different. If you have, if actually, how do I explain this? If you have a graphics card that is pretty new, um, you're gonna want to go to this website, GP, to the GPU database. And if it's before 2011, go th press that as well. But I've just got 2011 to current. Now, your GPU should be listed here if it's pretty new. And there's two different types of GPUs. Now, like desktop um, graphics cards, laptop graphics cards kind of have a similar kind of thing going for them. They have um, a mobile PCI Express slot. So it's not PCI, it's mobile PCI. And it, it, there's two different versions. Like this is my one, this is the GT630M, but this is MXMA right here. MXMA. And now we'll go to the other one. This is MXMB. They're completely different. This is a GTX 680. That's a GT 630. As you can see, guys, they will look they look different. Now, guys, this is something that you need to understand. Okay. Alright, guys, I'm back. I completely screwed up. i um, a bit of that. Well, not the start of the video, start of the video, but this part of the video. I'm completely replacing it now. But anyway, what I was trying to say is, uh, MXMB card. This card. Look at it. It's it's see how it's like tallish. This kind of card will not fit in a slot that hosts this kind of card, all right? However, if for some reason you have a GTX 680M and you want to downgrade, I don't know why, but you want to downgrade to a GT 630M, then this will fit into there. But it's not vice versa. This card will not fit into here, all right? So that's the bottom line, guys. So say you want to um, buy, say you have a, a GTX 680M, 
And, well, that's actually the highest graphics card. But you want to buy, like, a... Maybe you want to buy a new AMD card. You're feeling a bit AMD-ish. Then you look on this website, um, not website, website, and as you can see, you find an MXMB card. You, oh, oh, Radeon 7950M. As you can see, they look similar. Oh shit, they look similar. See, see how they like exa look exactly the same. If you get what I mean. And then um, you just look at it. Uh, the TDP, that shouldn't really matter, unless you have, like, a really weak fan. But anyway, um, look at it, and you... The one thing you need to do, though, before you buy any graphics card, is open up your computer, alright? You want to go and undo the screws, take all that crap out, make sure you undo it, and make sure it looks like... Let's check what it looks like. If it looks like this, then it's an MXMA card. You can only buy cards that are listed with where it says um, bus, where it says MXMA. All right, that's all you can do. All right, or if you actually click on the picture, actually no, that doesn't help you. But just make sure you buy an MXMA if you have an M MXMA card. If you have an MXMB, then you can find an MXMB card. Simple, guys. That's, I, ho I hope that get, gets into your mind. So anyway, say you want to buy a Radeon HD 7950M. Then you want to go to like eBay or something. You want to type in 7950M. I'm not sure if it will come up. Probably, probably won't. Probably won't, sorry. Worldwide, because there's... Uh, oh, here we go. Wow, it was right here. Uh, anyway, here, 7950M GTX, whatever this guy's name is. Well, this isn't even working, but I don't know. Wait, why does that say NVIDIA? Anyway, just go onto your um, eBay and then just look up the card and buy it. But before you buy anything, like I said, check, just, just check if it looks exactly the same. Uh, don't put me at fault if this doesn't work for you. But this is just all I, this is what I know, this is how to do it. And if, you know, you're trying to replace it and stuff doesn't work, then I'm sorry guys, but it should work, that's how you do it. I've done days and days and weeks of research, and trust me, that is exactly how to do it. So anyway guys, thank you for watching, and that is pretty much how to know if you can replace your laptop GPU. Goodbye.